should cause us to look at the bad news of Christ's death on Friday. And the good news of his resurrection on Sunday. And I'm aware of that some scholars and some theologians and denominationalism say that Christ's death was Good Friday. Oh, I'm aware of that. And some even celebrate Good Friday. Many folks were out of work as a religious holiday. And while you, you could say that it was Good Friday in some way, the Bible, which is God's message, God's word, the main message from the Bible is that it was, uh, it is that Good Friday was really bad Friday. Mm -hmm. And that the only thing that we can really glean, <laughs> or the only thing that most folks can take away from Friday, most of the time is a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bear with me. Mm -hmm. If Christ died on Friday, mm -hmm. nobody, if he just died on Friday. Y'all hear me through here. Nobody could have been saved. If Christ had just died on Friday, we might as well drain the pool. We might as well just, 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 just fold up the Bibles. We might as well just uh, lock up the church doors. If Christ just died on Friday, we might as well why, you might ask, why, preacher? <coughs> because it will all have been in vain. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad. Amen. In our text, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and if you look at verse number 14, the Bible tells us, if Christ be not risen, mm -hmm. then our preaching is vain, and your faith is Vain. In other words, it wouldn't have been any good. Right. Amen. If the day of Christ's death was Good Friday, why come David didn't talk about it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. David didn't say anything about it. When I, when I looked at Psalms 22 and verse 1, David spoke prophetically talking about Christ. He said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and from the works of my rowing? We find also in Psalms 22 and verse 16 and also verse 18, For dogs have compassed me. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'll say, are you with me? Yeah. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierce my hands and my feet and, I, and, and tear all my bones. They look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. Right, right. If the day of Christ's death was good Friday, I didn't hear Isaiah say anything about it. <laughs> I look at Isaiah 53. The Bible says he was despised and rejected of me. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. The Bible says we hid our faces from him. He was despised and the Bible says we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Is that alright? Yeah. Smitten of God and afflicted. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgression. Amen. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes. The Bible says we are healed. All yeah. oh, we like sheep have gone astray. All have turned to his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Amen. He was oppressed yeah. and he was afflicted. Bible says, yet he opened not his mouth. And in his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. 
You know, if the day of Christ's death was Good Friday, Lord have mercy, Zechariah didn't say nothing about it. He didn't say anything about it. He didn't say anything about it being Good Friday. Zechariah in Zechariah 13 and verse 1, he said, In that day there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanliness. Right. We sang that song. There's a fountain free for you and me. Is that right? right. right. Zechariah also said in verse 8, And one shall say unto him, What are these wounds in thy hand? Then he shall answer those which are those with which I was wounded in the house of friends. Are we still saying it's Good Friday? <laughs> you see, if the day of Christ's death was Good Friday, Peter didn't say nothing about it. <laughs> All right. Peter in First Peter chapter two in verse number twenty-three to twenty-four. This is what Peter said: Who? When he was reviled, reviled not again. Right. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteousness, he, uh, who his own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree. Right. And that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by those by whose stripes we are healed. Right. Lord have mercy. If Christ's death was Good Friday, if Christ's death was Good Friday, Paul didn't say nothing about it. When you look at Deuteronomy chapter 21 and verse 23, Paul wrote also in Galatians 3 and verse number 13, in his writing, for it is written, cursed. I don't see nothing good about getting cussed or being cursed. Isn't that what the book said? For it is written, cursed is everyone that hang on a tree. If the day of Christ's death was good Friday, Jesus himself didn't say nothing about it. He said to his disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane, this is what he said. He said, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Matthew 26 and verse 38. And then he prayed this prayer. He said, oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thy will. Yes. Yes. Prayed that prayer in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 42. Oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, thy will right. be done. That's what Jesus said. And although Jesus knew, he knew he had to face the death, the Friday of death. He knew he had to pray. He knew he had to face it. He knew that on Sunday he would rise from the grave. He said to the Jews in John, 20, John 2 and verse 19, Destroy this temple. And in three days, yes, sir. he said, I'll raise it up again. Yes, sir. That's what Jesus said. Right. And as we apply this message, as we look at this message in the 21st century vernacular, mm -hmm. many of us have to admit that we have many frustrated, mm -hmm. fearful, frightening, frantic Fridays mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. But we can be assured that Sunday is coming. Yes, sir. Is that all right? Yeah. Sunday is coming. You see, church, it's Fridays when black folks are in many settings the last high and the first five. And 30 years of desegregation and many schools in many states are still. Uh, unofficially right. segregated. Right. Mm -hmm. It's Friday. Yeah. Yeah. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. 